Does it make the hair on your arm stand up? Does it make the hair on the back of your neck stand up? And I've been in some song meetings that were, you know, stuff of the movie. So as an A&R person, what caused you to jump out of your seat when you, I mean, when you heard a, a song, what, I mean, what, what was it about the song that caused you to get excited? For me, well, for me, I'm a huge <clears throat> first line person. If you can't hook them in the first line, you're screwed. Because then how are you even going to get them to the chorus? And then a chorus has to hit me. And then it's not a science. It's, does it make the hair on your arm stand up? Does it make the hair on the back of your neck stand up? And I've been in some song meetings that were, you know, stuff of the movies to where you play, I played Clay Walker, a song, She Won't Be Lonely Long, and he literally jumped up on the table and was high-fiving and giving hugs. And there are moments when you hear, you just know. Um, so, yeah, just when you know when you know. And I, mean, you know. I think a lot of times people perceive that it's these cold-hearted accountants in a room no. who don't care about music and they're just, you know, looking at the bottom line, can we make you know, half a million dollars on this on the radio. but I, So I'm. it's encouraging to hear there's people that love music. Anyone, I don't think people understand an artist's life. They're on the road 300 days a year away from their families, living in a bus with six, eight, ten stinky band members, eating crap food. I mean, it's a it's a hard life. So they've got to love it. Otherwise, it's it's not worth it. You couldn't pay them... 10 times the amount of money that they make because it's a really hard life and um, I can only speak to the ones that I've worked with but the ones that like a Lee Bryce and a Winona they eat and breathe music it's what they were born to do it's what they do it's all they know how to do um, so yeah it's still a passionate business yeah. I mean from the an A&R side from a writer side from the record side at the end of the day we're all in this to change people's lives and I've been a part of records um, I've been a part of records that now, literally, I watched change people's lives. So, yeah, you have. The second you lose the passion and the affinity for the music, you might as well quit and go count staples. Yeah.